Okay, we're going to do the last part of this um, exercise, which is 14e, I believe. Yep, 14e, and it's solving equations with logs. So we're going to start off by solving this equation. We have got log base 10, I'm not going to write it because we always know it's base 10, of 4, plus 2 log base 10 of x equals 2. The strategy is to combine the logs into one and isolate on one side. So at the moment, they're both on one side. So I'm now going to try and combine them together. Now, I can't just add them. To, I can't make the 4 and the x multiply because of this 2 that's outside the front. The log laws at the very beginning said if you have got log x plus log y, it's equal to log xy. But it doesn't say what you can do if there's a 2 in front. OK, if there's a 2 in front, you're going to have to change it to an x squared and do it like this. So let's try this one. I'm going to keep the 4 there, and I'm going to change this one so that it's a log of an x squared equals 2. Now I can combine them together using the addition becoming a multiplication. So it becomes the log of 4x squared is equal to 2. Now remember, this is a base of 10. So this statement then says, we're saying the power of 10 that gives me 4x squared is 2. In other words, 10 squared, which is 100, is equal to 4x squared. Divide both sides by 4, so 25 is equal to x squared. And then square root both sides. So the square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. Now, you just need to be careful here, because at the beginning, this was our original equation. And remember, we can't take logs of negative numbers. Remember, we can't take logs of negatives. So x cannot be equal to minus 5. The only answer in this case is that x is equal to 5. Because if x was minus 5 here, we would have been doing 2 log of minus 5, which goes into, you can't actually even see it on here, but it's got some imaginary numbers that are included with it. So we can't do that. So this one is not a solution. So the only solution is that x is equal to 5. OK, we're going to try this one. So I've got a little careful thing here, and this is what I talked about before, that you can't combine them when there's a 2 outside the front. You can only combine them if it is like this, OK, if you've just got log and a log. So let's think about this one. First of all, we need to get them onto one side. So I'm going to have 2 log x plus log 6 equals 3. I'm going to deal with that 2 by putting it inside as a power, like this. And then I'm going to um, use the addition law and put these together. So that's the log of 6x squared equals 3. So remember, this is saying it's a base 10. So I'm saying the power of 10 that gives me 6x squared is 3. In other words, 1000 is 6x squared. So I'll do 1,000 divided by 6, which is x squared, and then I will square root it. 1,000 divided by 6, and I will square root that answer. And so I can either do it in exact form or I can do it in decimal form. So x is plus or minus 12.9, three significant figures. But remember, x has got to be greater than 0. So x is going to be equal to 12.9 to three significant figures. For the same reason in that previous question, we can't take the log of a negative number, so we can't have minus 12.9 there. OK, this time we've got logs on both sides of the equation, so we're going to need to collect them together. So I have 2 log base 3, x plus 11, equals, not equals, I'm not going to copy it out, minus 2 log base 3, of x minus 5 equals 4. So you've got a couple of different options here. If you want to, you could factorise out the 2. So you could do 2 like this. Or we could put the 2 back inside the powers. So it would go like here and here. I think I'm probably going to put the 2 back inside the powers. So I've got log base 3 of x plus 11 squared minus log base 3 of x minus 5 squared is equal to 4. Now, because they're being subtracted, I can divide them. So it's going to be log base 3 of x plus 11 squared divided by x minus 5 squared 
equals 4. Okay, well, it doesn't look pleasant, but it's going to be perfectly okay to solve. We're saying the power of 3 that gives you x plus 11 squared over x minus 5 squared is 4. In other words, 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. So we get 81 multiplied by x minus 5 squared equals x plus 11 squared. I also multiplied up by this x minus 5 squared here as well. So we're just going to do a quadratic expansion. So it's going to be x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals x squared plus 22x plus 121. So that's 81x squared minus 810x. Let's do my 81 times 25 plus 2025 equals x squared plus 22x plus 121. So I'm going to make it become a quadratic. So I'm going to get everything on one side and make it equal 0. So that's going to be 80x squared. So I'm going to do minus 810 minus 22 minus 832x. And then I've got 2025 minus 121. And I get 1904. So you're going to use your equation solver that you've got on your class with or your other calculator. So I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to go to equation and function. It is a polynomial of degree order 2. So it's 80 minus 832 and 1904. So we get that one of the solutions is that x is 7. And the other solution is that x is equal to 3.4. I think those are the only two solutions that we've got there. Yeah, we've just got those two solutions of x is 7 and x is 3.4. Now, how could you check this answer? How could you check them? So I think what we could do is we could substitute them into the equation. So I'm going to do 2 log base 3 of 7 plus 11. Okay, and then on my next line, I'm going to do 4 plus 2 log base 3 of... 7 minus 5, and they're the same as each other. I'm also going to go back through and I'm going to replace those 7s with 3.4s to see if I get... Oh, that's interesting. I can't do 3.4. Why can't I do 3.4, do you think? Because 3.4 is not going to be a solution, because if I put 3.4 as x in here, I would be doing log base 3 of 3.4 minus 5, and you can't take logs of negatives. So you had to be really careful there. So me actually doing the checking showed me that, that wasn't going to work. I had this um, I had this negative number, didn't I? I had 2 log base 3 of 3.4 minus 5. And suddenly I was like, whoa, I've got an imaginary number. This is not a solution. So the only answer to this question is 7. OK, so I want you to try this question yourself. Um, see if you can do this, and then you're going to try 14e. I'm going to go through it in just a second, so you might like to pause the video here, see if you can answer it, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so it says, show that this thing is true. Personally, I just look at what they've given us, and I just do stuff to it, and eventually I'm going to end up with that. So I have 2 log base 2 of x plus 15, minus log base 2 of x is equal to 6. Well, I need to first of all deal with this 2 that's hanging out the front here and put it in the power. So it's going to be log base 2 of x plus 15 squared minus log base 2 of x equals 6. Now I can combine them using the subtraction law. So it's x plus 15 squared over x equals 6. So we're saying the power of 2 that gives me x plus 15 squared over x is 6. And 2 to the power of 6, I believe, is 64. So 64 equals x plus 15 squared over x. In other words, 64x equals, I'm now going to do the expansion of x plus 15 squared. So it's going to be x squared plus 30x plus 15 squared, which is 225. And I'm going to make it all equal 0. So I'm going to do my 30 minus 64, which is minus 34x, plus 225. Ah, here we go. We've ended up with exactly the equation that they asked for. 
So then it says, hence or otherwise, solve this equation. Well, this equation is the same as this equation. So instead of solving this, just solve the quadratic instead. And you've got calculators that will do this for you. So I'm going to put into my calculator the coefficient of x squared is 1 minus 34 and 225. So we get that either x is equal to 25 or x is equal to 9. Now, it seems like both of these are going to be valid because 25 and 9 is not going to make this positive, uh, negative, sorry, nor is it going to make this negative. So this is a long amount of videos we've done for exercise 14e, but hopefully now you can attempt the questions in 14e, which is all about logarithms.